What's up, Skate Fam? Welcome to the next episode of D Skates. I'm your host, David Lalliette, and today I'm really excited to share with you one of my all time favorite moves the corkscrew. I really appreciate that you've all given so much support to this channel in 2019. So to kick off the new year, I want to give you a taste of this super fun move. This move is a double toe spin and can be done in quads or inline skates. I can actually do it on ice as well, but it's a bit more complicated and you don't want to try it on your toes there. So I may have to make a separate tutorial. For now, we'll just stick with inline skates and quad skates. Real quick, the prerequisite for this move is that you need to be fairly comfortable skating on your toes. I have an older tutorial on that, which I'll link in the description below. It's one of the first tutorials I put on this channel, so it's not exactly the best, but it should be good enough to get you started. Also, you'll probably want to learn a basic two-toe spin, but since the corkscrew is quite a bit different from that, it's not really a requirement. It'll just help you if you decide to do it. Getting started, I recommend that you first practice putting one toe down on the jam plug of your quads or front wheel of your inline skates to create a central balance point. Then, with the other foot, draw a circle around the center point of that skate, keeping your feet apart and reaching out with the other leg. Make sure your knee over the central foot is bent and keep your arms out and as level as possible. Anytime you do a spin or any other rotating motion, your body will have a tendency to tip over in the direction of whichever arm is lower, so it's really important. Also, make sure they're fully extended. Drawing them inward will likely increase the speed of your spin, which we don't want yet. You need to become comfortable doing this part, because in spite of how it may look, you're actually spinning on one point when you do the corkscrew spin. If you watch someone do a normal two-toe spin, you can see that both feet are creating a circle with one foot traveling forward and the other traveling backward. The corkscrew, however, creates a central point with one foot and then draws a circle around it with the other foot. If you can get this circle drilled down, it'll help you to create a good picture in your head of just how the corkscrew works. Once you're comfortable with this drill, let's try and initiate the actual spin. To do this, come up onto both toes and allow the front foot to create the central point. But this time, bring the back foot onto the toe as well. You'll want to position your feet a little closer together, similarly to the shape of a T-stop. Watch closely as my back foot spins around the front foot, which is mostly rotating in one spot. As you bend your knees and point them in opposite directions, the twisting corkscrew illusion they create will become more pronounced. Practice this over and over until you're comfortable, making sure to keep your head facing straight out and extending your arms as level as possible. Once you're comfortable with the spin, you can begin to draw your arms inward toward your chest. Doing this will increase your momentum, but as your center of balance becomes tighter, you will tip over much easier. So take care to always keep your arms level. This move looks more complicated than it actually is. And once you get used to it, you may find it's a good finisher for other two foot spins. I hope this gave you enough insight to try and attempt this move. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions and give this video a like if you feel like you learned something from it. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell to get a notification when I release the next tutorial. And I'll see you the next time I lace up.